The idea of a mobile nuclear power station, specifically the TS-3, emerged in the 1950s during the Soviet Union's ambitious plans to develop the far north. The harsh conditions of this region necessitated a reliable source of heat and electricity, leading to the concept of a mobile nuclear station. The initial proposals, TS-1 and TS-2, were based on railway locomotives, but were deemed impractical due to the challenges of laying railway tracks in the far north. The breakthrough came with the TES-3 project, which utilized a tracked platform. The chassis of the heavy tank T-10 was chosen and modified for this purpose. The number of support rollers was increased to 10, and the width of the tracks was expanded to maintain ground pressure. The total weight of the equipment was around 200 tons, requiring powerful 750 horsepower diesel engines, although the maximum speed was a modest 15 kilometers per hour. The TES-3 consisted of four tracked modules. The first two modules housed the two-loop water-cooled nuclear reactor and associated equipment, while the remaining modules carried the turbo generator, control systems, and auxiliary equipment. The reactor had an electrical output of 1.5 megawatts and could operate autonomously for about 250 days, consuming only 14 grams of uranium-235 per day. Radiation protection was a critical aspect of the TS-3 design. It featured a three-level shielding system, a lead container for the reactor, a reservoir filled with boric acid, and ground burial. Before operation, the reactor modules were buried in trenches and covered with reinforced concrete slabs to ensure radiation safety. The TES-3 underwent successful field tests, confirming its viability. However, by the mid-1960s, the Soviet government lost interest in mobile nuclear stations, leading to the project's termination. The TES-3 was conserved in Obninsk, and one of its modules was later sent to Kamchatka for a geological expedition in 1985. Despite its promising potential, the TES-3 project was ultimately abandoned. The concept of a mobile nuclear power station could have significantly improved the quality of life in remote and underdeveloped regions, but economic and political factors led to its demise. The TES-3 remains a testament to the innovative spirit of the Soviet era, even though it never reached its full potential.